So this is an introduction to Admin 328, which is the introduction to nation building. My name is Dr. Jamie Lavalley. I'm a Muskeg Lake Cree Nation uh, person uh, from uh, Saskatchewan. The course uh, overview is with regards to nation building. We will be discussing the pillars or principles or framework of nation building. Nation building is a theory um, about how nations, especially indigenous nations, can uh, build into uh, development. However, it is not just a theory, it is also a practice and a process in which indigenous nations can address their problems and issues that they have with uh, economies, political, governance, and um, socioeconomic problems. Okay, so this is Admin 328, an introduction to nation building. My name is, Jamie, this is Dr. Jamie Lavalley. I'm from Muskeg Lake Cree Nation, which is located in Treaty 6 territory, Saskatchewan. This course will introduce you to nation building, um, which has what we commonly refer to as either five pillars, uh, five principles, or five frameworks. Uh, nation building is considered to be a theory in which indigenous nations can build their economies, their, socio their societies, um, as well as their governance and political systems. However, nation building is not just a theory. It is also a practice and a process in which nations address their problems and issues and challenges that they encounter. The problems and issues and challenges that a lot of the Indigenous nations encounter in Canada, in the US, Australia, and basically um, all the places around the world that have Indigenous people, usually is a direct result from the colonialistic practices that have occurred towards them, where they are given or they are directed or controlled either through legislative policies or societies um, that are outside of them. Uh, when the, it's basically almost like a top-down approach, a quick-fix approach, or what's commonly referred to in nation building as the standard approach. In this course, we will look at some of the reasons for why the standard approach does not work, and how nation building, through the use of the processes, um, the, or the framework, the principles, the pillars, can actually help revitalize and maintain and rejuvenate language, culture, governance, political systems, and create strong economies for the nations in which they can direct and control their own destinies. The course objectives for Admin 328 Introduction to Nation Building will be to show the standard approach uh, which and its failures for Indigenous nations development. It will discuss the challenges and opportunities facing Indigenous nations. It will also show the issues facing Indigenous nations and how nation building can address them. You will become familiar with the approaches and tactics used in nation building. You will recognize the important roles of pillars and principles of nation building. And you will also be able to recognize how nation building is used by Indigenous nations, for Indigenous nations, and with Indigenous nations. How will this course benefit you as a professional? Well, it shows that external agencies, nations, societies cannot build your own Indigenous nations. It's only the nations themselves and their citizens. It provides ideas and concepts to assist construction in effective institutions that are designed by, with, and for Indigenous peoples to meet their unique circumstances, needs, and priorities. It helps you to understand what a powerful tool nation building is in creating your current and future society. It helps you develop strategies on how to um, make development happen within your nation, as well as to um, understand that this isn't a quick fix itself that it takes time, patience, and a really strong foundation in order to move forward, that it takes time to build a nation, that it takes time 
to create a society that you and your children and your great-grandchildren want to live in. Finally, it helps you acquire basic learning skills that go beyond just learning about a theory. It gives you essential critical thinking skills on how to contribute to Indigenous uh, nation building and Indigenous societies. Uh, basically, the, this course is theory into practice, hopefully within your, um, within your job or within your role even as a citizen. I'm Dr. Jamie Lavalley. I'm a Muskeg Lake Cree Nation uh, citizen from Treaty 6 territory in Saskatchewan. I received my doctorate in law from the University of Arizona, James E. Rogers College of Law in Indigenous Peoples Law and Policy. And this course is about um, uh, an introduction to nation building in MIN 328. Uh, nation building is a theory that was created by the Harvard Project on American Indian Economic Development, which, is, um, which was created about t over 20 years ago that looked at what was the state of indigenous nations in the U.S. at that time, but it's been branched out to, to encompass other places around the world where indigenous nations uh, live and reside and uh, create themselves. Hello, I'm, ja I'm Dr. Jamie Lavalley. I'm a Muskeg Lake Cree citizen from the Treaty 6 territory located in Saskatchewan. I received my doctorate in law from the University of Arizona James E. Rogers College of Law in Indigenous Peoples Law and Policy. The course that we are discussing is Admin 328 Introduction to Nation Building. Int the Introduction to Nation Building course will um, introduce you to the nation building theory that was created by the Harvard Project on American Indian Economic Development. The Harvard Project started over 20 years ago when there was a need out there to find out why some indigenous nations were successful and why some weren't. They started out with uh, what was called basically the standard approach, which was to find out if, uh, uh, you know, if it was location or natural resources or education of the people that would uh, be indicators of success. However, in the over 20 years of research that, have, that has been done, the Harvard Project has actually found that instead of these three um, things or three um, ideas of what would create Indigenous um, development, they discovered that there was a different theory. And they call this theory nation building. The theory of nation building basically has five pillars or five principles. It is also sometimes used um, as a framework in which Indigenous nations go forward with their development. However, it is not only a theory. It is a process, a strategy, and a way of thinking and viewing development for Indigenous nations. This all theory, though, is created to anticipate and provide answers to what are problems. And one of the major problems with, in, with Indigenous nations right now when they are not at the development stage that they want to do is that usually you can look back and see it's others that have been making decisions for them, either through legislative measures, society, policy, uh, funding, basically a top-down outsider approach. Nation building, however, takes this, turns it on its head and shows that in order to have a strong economy, a strong society, a strong future, language, culture, governance, political systems, environmental protections, you have to make the decisions yourselves. And how to get there to make those decisions yourselves is what nation building provides. It provides the framework, it provides the process, it provides the critical thinking skills, strategies to do so. So this introduction will compare and contrast the standard approach and it'll introduce you to these five frameworks and how you can make it your own for your nation. Thank you.